Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 2009 17-inch MacBook Pro. We can install either a standard SATA hard drive or a solid-state drive in this bay. For this installation, we're going to use a standard hard drive. We've already gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. The six screws along the bottom are all the same size. Use your small Phillips screwdriver to remove them. The remaining four screws are along the top edge. The far left screw is shorter than the other three, which are considerably longer. We are now ready to remove the bottom cover. Starting near the hinge edge, simply lift up on the bottom cover. If the case is difficult to remove, use your nylon pry tool to gently pry up in these two spots and then lift the whole cover straight up to detach the center clips. For a frame of reference, the tabs for those center clips are located here on the cover and they correspond to the two clips located here. Now that we're inside the computer, you should be able to see the hard drive to the lower right. Loosen the two screws holding the hard drive retainer bar in place, then remove the entire bar. Lift the hard drive free of the case by using the plastic tab. After disconnecting the hard drive connector, you can then remove the drive completely. Using your Torx T6 screwdriver, remove the four screw-in mounts around the edge of the drive. Once that's done, all you need to do is gently peel the pull tab off of the hard drive and you can begin prepping the new one for installation. Attach the four screw-in mounts to the new drive. You may also stick the pull tab onto the new drive to aid in future removal. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Attach the hard drive connector to the new drive, then slide it into place as shown. Set the retaining bar back into place and tighten the two screws that hold it down. You may now close up your MacBook Pro. Set the bottom cover into place, then gently push down over the clips on both sides in the center. You should hear a snap as they clip together. Replace the six screws along the front and side edges. You should note that these screws do not go in straight down, they go in at an angle. Once those screws are installed, replace the four screws along the hinge edge. Don't forget that the screw on the left is shorter than the other three. You may now turn your MacBook Pro back over, open it up, and turn it on.